Hey everybody out there in YouTube land, this is Jen and where are boys? I feel as though there was a miscommunication between us about <laughs> what this video was going to be about. Now why would you say that, Wolfie? I don't know. That's better. <laughs> Did you need a costume change? Costume change. Okay, so we were tagged. That's why we're here today. We were tagged by our good friend Monty G, uh, the horror miser Monty G, and um, this and this tag was not Monty G's. It was our good friend Sean Patrick Ersten, and it is the ultimate Dracula tag. Why were you in a werewolf costume? Miscommunication. We were... I see that. So, yeah, and there are like 12 questions, I think. There's 12 questions in this tag, so let's just sink our teeth into this tag, shall we? See what I did there? Because, you know, vampires have teeth. See what I did there? I'm clever. Please somebody give me a cookie. Question one. What is your favorite Dracula movie of all the time? Oh, shit. Um... I get so much shame from the boy. The boy loves to throw shade, but it might possibly be Bram Stoker's Dracula. I'm wearing the shirt too, coincidentally. Um, okay, it, it, it was nominated for, it was actually three winners of Academy Awards. It got Academy Awards. I never understood why people don't like this movie. Um, I remember it getting a lot of hate when it actually came out. I describe uh, Bram Stoker's... But it has some really good elements and it's very faithful to the actual book. What Bram Stoker's... I, I just dub it Coppola's for, for Dracula because it's more Coppola's idea than Stoker's really But it's is. very close to the book. It's close enough, but what that movie is, it has a lot of really good elements, but what that movie is, is that movie is a goddamn mess. Like I like you. Keanu Reeves is, you know. The cast is that movie's main problem, is that cast is weird. I say Gary Oldman does give a very interesting Oh yeah, well, Oldman, Oldman's good, even Keanu is out of places he feels in the movie is pretty decent. Strangely, the one that kind of is the only man in is Anthony Hopkins. He's not yeah. bad, but he, he, he's, I don't, I didn't see much from bringing to the table with Anthony Hopkins, but I love it, and I love some of the visuals mm. in that, and it's just so gothic, and I know, no one but Jen loves it, but I fucking love Bram Stoker's Dracula. I always have. I have the shirt. Thanks, Jay. So, what about you? For me, I gotta go Hammer. But hammer the, time, do, do, do. There's a lot of Can't really good this. ones. I was thinking maybe Prince of Darkness, the original film. But what I think gets overlooked, and admittedly, it does have the weakness of not having Peter Cushing in it, which is a big problem with most of the Hammer Dracula movies. But it does have a really cool twist on the set, on the setup and uh, with our lead, and that's Dracula's Risen from the Grave, which I believe is the third film. I, I want to say. So. And the, uh, the main interesting point about this movie is our main character, Peter, because every goddamn protagonist in a Hammer movie has to be named Peter for some reason. Or if you're in a Fright Night film. Yeah. Um, but, but for some reason, they're all named Peter. I don't know why. Um, but he is actually an atheist, which leads to kind of interesting do uh, things with this movie of how he's going to stop Dracula because he doesn't have the faith in the cross. Apparently. You have to have faith. Yeah, he doesn't have faith in the cross. He doesn't, apparently. This movie introduces the weird thing of needing to say a prayer in order for staking them to work. So he has to come up with more creative ideas in how to stop Dracula. And I do feel it's kind of a cop-out that he ultimately does find his faith because the movie whole set, the whole movie sets up like he's going to come up with a new way to kill Dracula about it and then just at the end oh cross dead man it's easier that it way. is easier and i get the 60s and it was very, pretty controversial to have an atheist lead in the 60s so yeah it's, that's, still kind of it's just a cool show. it's just a cool little flick that has some pretty good kills i get that not a bad choice what's our next question who's the best van helsing out of all the van helsings who ever done did van helsing probably peter Peter Cushing is, yeah, Peter Cushing I'm is. I'm gonna steal your answer. I'm gonna say Peter Cushing as well. Peter Cushing was just the fucking best. Um, you always, whenever he was saying, whenever he was uh, saying something, like in the original horror of Dracula, like when he's talking about, like, all, giving the exposition about vampire lore, you believe that that man just wants to bag himself as vampire and get done with it all. Yeah, yeah, uh, he just did a phenomenal... It, all the Hammer movies, though. Just, yeah, pretty much all the Hammer movies are real good. Yeah, they are. Uh, the next, our next question, what's our next question best dracula who ever done did dracula in the dracula okay there were a lot of great draculars um but i get I and mean, this is gonna probably be a little cliche guys but i have always i mean you can't really give any other answer but bella lugosi 
I, you just can't. Like, as much as Christopher Lee, you know? I'm going to say Christopher Lee. I knew you would, but I, I, and I get that. And it would be like, well, Gary Oldman did really good, too. <laughs> but, 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 I mean, it's just that, those lines, children of the night, what me and I love the fact that he hardly spoke any English, but still managed to, you know, he didn't mm. really understand. He just read the he lines. Jackie Chan did. He phonetically yeah. learned the lines. Yeah, but he really didn't know what he was saying, and it, for that to work as well as it does, and I mean, what, like millions of years later, we're still mm -hmm. quoting, and I mean, Bela Lugosi is Dracula. They kind of are merged. Uh, there's been lots of Draculas, and I guess Christopher Lee would probably be the next most notorious Dracula of mm -hmm. them all, but he just is a little undershot or outshined by Bella Lugosi. Bella Lugosi was a very interesting man. Yeah. So, yeah. I would say Christopher Lee because not only did he have all the excellent Hammer movies he did, you also have the Jesus Franco movie he did where he played Dracula again. Oh, yeah. most people forget about I actually really like the Jesus Franco version. It's weird, but I like it. I get that. Um, but no, he was just a really damn good Dracula. Also, I'd like to point out that he is the only actor to ever properly portray Dracula, how he's described in the book. How is he described in the book? Old Man with mustache. How is he in the Franco version? Old man with mustache. But that's not sexy. No, that's not sexy, but yeah, he's the only actor to ever actually have the proper portrayal of Dracula from the book. Um, no. I mean, no one will ever be as sexy than Chris Sedan sexy. I know he wasn't Dracula, but he was a vampire. Close enough. Mm -hmm. um, no, the re what sells Peter Cush or not Peter Cushing, Christopher Lee's Dracula to me is, I can never remember the, last, the name of the last film, but the very last one, the second one set in the 70s, where, where he's um, releasing the bioplague. That movie's weird as shit. But the you speech he gives near, near, near the end, talking about uh, the four horsemen of the apocalypse, that scene always, always sells that movie for me and sells why he is the best Dracula. Dracula, the finesse he delivers the lines. I get that. Especially since for most of the franchise, he did not want to do it. Yeah, I had heard that. Is it true? Okay. Yes, it's true. He because they didn't he like does the, it so well though. Yeah, because he's. If you ever wonder why he's mutant, most of the Hammer movies is because the lines they were giving him were shit. So he refused to say them, and the only reason he did them was because they literally said you'll put people out of work if you don't do these movies. Well, at least he did that. Yeah. Cool, class that guy. What is your favorite weapon against the Draculas? The cross. Okay. I know, cliche, but it is, I, there's something neat, especially when the actors does it well, where they see the cross, and you know, it's just cool. Yeah, I can I see that. I know that, and also the old stake through the heart. Really? All of them are cool, and then sunlight. Mm -hmm. There's been some good ones with sunlight! I'm gonna go with, so, would sunlight be considered a weapon? Sunlight does kill him in horror of Dracula, so yeah. Yeah, so, so maybe sunlight. I think I'll go with sunlight. What about you? Okay, this might be cheating, because technically it's not from a movie, but they did use it in the show, and Fuck it, I've been I love this franchise. From Castlevania, the vampire killer, aka the big fucking whip. Um, or the morning star, depending on what game it is. It's a blessed chainmail whip that just is specifically made to kill the shit out of Dracula and vampires. How is that not awesome? I don't play video games. I love Castlevania, so I'm gonna go. But if we're going for an actual mo movie one, probably the holy water. Holy or a hawthorn bush. That's cool. I get no, Number five, what is the worst Dracula movie of all the Dracula movies that ever did Dracula? There's a lot of them. There's a lot of really bad... Like, even if we're excluding, like, ones... Even if we're just mo counting movies that have Dracula in them, there's a lot of bad ones. Like... I almost want to say 2000, but I always admittedly like the twist of him being Judas. I like that twist, so I can't say that one. Probably the one that's in Dracula Untold is what I'm probably going to go with. I get that. I'm probably going to go, and I only know this because of Commander USA's groovy movies. Oh my god. <laughs> that one, what is it? Vampire in, not Brooklyn, uh... It's something... Burbank? Burbank, yes! Is that Dracula in that movie? Well, it's close enough, and it's really bad. Okay, fine. Like, as long as you don't say Billy the Kid versus Dracula. That movie's awesome. I don't hate that one actually, but yeah, I only know this because of Commander USA's groovy movies, but even as a kid I was like, man, this one blows. <laughs> and I don't know if it's technically Dracula, but it's Vampire. Close enough. So yeah. Yeah, Dracula Untold was a piece of shit. And that was bad. It was the third time they tried to do the Universal Shared new Universe and it failed horribly. And Wasn't the biggest nor the last time. They that probably ended with the Mummy, but it was the it was the, it was the third time they failed and third failed times it. was not the charm. No, third time was not the charm because that movie was a piece of shit. I... What's the best scene in a Dracula movie? The Scott Dracula in it. Again. <laughs> 
I hate to keep beating a dead horse, you should say. But um, uh, there's a lot of scenes in uh, Bram Stoker's Dracula that I love. Um, I actually, you know what I really love in this? I'm gonna change it. I was gonna give a, I was gonna give an answer from this movie, but I think I'm gonna change it and give another answer. I love when he's talking about Nina and talking about how she kills herself mm -hmm. and like he's crying and just the rage and it's it's because you know you think of Dracula in one way but that really humanizes yeah. him and shows why he became what he became and that's one of the reasons why this is like the greatest Dracula movie don't come at me people um of all time it it, it just because it, it humanizes uh, Dracula so much and I love it and it, it's good fuck you all <laughs> I feel like I'm good. I feel I love that you, even you have to justify your favorite scene. <laughs> I like this movie. One day Jen will do a review on it. Uh, for me, there's a lot of really good scenes in Dracula movies. Is it Dra is it Bram Stoker's? No, it's not Bram Stoker's Dracula. Probably again going back. It's... And the Children of the Night scene. Oh, well, any time they do the Children of the Night bit. Um. I, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to say it. I know Brad mentioned it, and it's fresh in my head because we saw it for a video later down the road. Uh, Dracula dead and loving it, the scene where they're staking Mina, or any scene with Renfield, is really good. Yeah, it, that, that, that movie, it, it's weird. We'll talk, that movie will get its own video relatively soon. Um, but no, like, I love... The scene, probably the scene where he's staking Mina. Is yeah. I love how the, the blood, blood. Yeah, I love how the blood and how Mel Brooks delivers the lines and everything. That it's scene, probably the funniest part of the movie. It probably is along with anything with Renfield. Because yeah. the Renfield, I don't think that's one of the questions, but the Renfield in that movie is the best Renfield in all of the movies. Fight me. What is the best line from Dracula in Dracula movie history? The children of the night. What music they make. And, of course, it has to be so, uh, said by Bella Lugosi because that's just what I hear in my head. I know, cliche again, but I, I grew up with that movie, guys, and I just fucking love it. And I, I, I can tell you exactly how he's standing and all of mm -hmm. it. Yeah. What about you? Yeah, At least I didn't go with, with Bram Stoker's, y'all, you haters out there. See, for me, okay, it's got to be the entire speech. It does. This is how good it is. It doesn't even have Dracula in of Anthony Hopkins talking about syphilis. That was a very <laughs> important scene for that movie. I know, probably, like you said, Chosen of the Night. That's probably the best scene out of, out of all of them. And I love how mo a lot of the movies recreate it. Plus, I even non-horror people know that mm, line. Most yeah. non-horror people know that line. Very cool. Okay. okay, what is the best parody or comedy? Only because I can't, th unless we count like Monster Squad, but yeah, that's not really a parody. I guess I'd probably say Dead and Loving It. Uh, I get why, but I don't know. Is it the best? I can't think of, besides, unless we count like Mad Monster Party, but that doesn't really, that only has Dracula as a character. I know. I don't have one. Not you're just say Brad, just say Dad loving it. That movie has its elements that work really well. Yeah, I guess I I'm sure there's gonna be somebody in the comments that go, haven't you? For don't you remember this or that? And I'll probably go, I'm an idiot. But I, I'm blanking right now. I can't think of anything besides Dead and Loving It that that for comedy or parody. I really can't. I'm hamsters dead, guys. Hamsters dead. Question whatever. What, who had the what movie had the worst representation of Dracula out of all the Dracula movies that ever done had Dracula in the movies? I'm curious to hear your answer. Uh, uh, no. Again, I I actually I know a lot of people have said 2000, but I Yeah. I mean, no, I like the twist of him being Judas. I think that was actually a really cool spin. Okay. I like that. I, I That's that, my answer. That movie has a lot of problems, but I like the twist of him being Judas a lot. I get that. Um God damn it. Again, maybe Untold. There's a lot of problems with Dracula yeah. Untold. Yeah, Dra I'm going to change my answer. Dracula Untold because I don't... Does anybody... Does any I don't know anybody because... Like, it? like it, it isn't as bad as The Mummy because that's literally just yeah. a mission impossible. At least that movie was trying to do something kind of unique and on its own, but it just failed horribly at it. It yeah. face planted super hard with its execution of it, so... And I, I don't even remember... That's just how bad, boring that movie is. I don't even remember who the fuck played him in that. I don't either. Yeah, I don't either. So, yeah. Probably Dracula Untold. Because I am in the minority that likes the Ju Judas twist of 2000. I get that. Okay. 
Which film has the best death of the Dracula in a Dracula movie about Dracula? Dracula. Dracula? No, not Dracula. I just felt like saying Dracula a couple more times. I get that. Um... I really like this movie, guys. Okay, the death itself is eh, though. Like, yeah, you get him talking to Lucy, but like, eh. That's why. I I, I, I guess, but it's not like a super memorable I'm death. I'm sorry, guys. I, Probably because it's taken from the book and he just kill, gets killed by knives in the book. I, I just, I really like, I know I keep going back to this movie, but I am like, Christian loves it. Like, he, it baffles him. Whenever this movie comes on, I'll watch it and he'll, he'll be here and he'll be why? And I, I don't know. I just it, love it's it. not a bad movie. It, it just that movie is kind of a tonal mess. I don't think I disagree. It's just it's beautiful. And like the more the older I get, the more I like it. I guess. You, you, some movies, you know, the older you get, the you find problems. This is a backwards movie because I didn't particularly like it a lot when it came out. I didn't say what all the hate was, but it's grown on me over the years. I'm yes. sorry. What about you? Uh, for me, it's gotta be Horror Dracula, cause he, uh, that's the, uh, the movie where he gets mel literally, like, disintegrated by sunlight. Well, not even that's disintegrated. Cool. He gets, d his body decays and rots. It's super cool. That is a cool, it's a cool looking shot. What is the most underrated Dracula movie? I don't know. What is it for you? I, I, fuck it, I guess I'll say it. Dracula 2000 actually has some pretty good elements in it. Like, it's... Kind of a mess, but it, again, I really like the Judas twist. I, I really that. like that twist. So I, it has its issues. I will acknowledge, but fuck it, Dracula two thousand for me. Spanish Dracula, it's under. Spanish rating. Dracula is real good. Spanish Dracula, like the only reason that movie is worse than regular American Bela Lugosi Dracula is because it doesn't have Bela Lugosi. Basically, but everything else in that movie is a lot better than the. It should more get more recognition one. than I feel. Like yeah, it, I agree. So that's why it's underrated. <sighs> Thoughts on the Francis Ford Coppola version? Is it an overburned Hollywood adaptation or is it a faithful adaptation of the book? I have no thoughts on this. No, clearly. <laughs> um, yes and no. It's the Coppola, the Coppola version is... It's one of the most faithful to the book. I, yeah, it's one of the more faithful ones. It's one of the only ones to include Quincy, which is weird. Um... <sighs> <laughs> yes and no. It has its problems. It has its problems, but there are some really good elements. Like, it has its... It's beautiful. Like, yeah, it, the cinematography, gorgeous. the costume design, all that's really good. Oldman's pretty good. Everyone's pretty decent, minus Hopkins, weirdly. He's not bad. He He's just, just weird. You would think he would add a little more to the table. He's more he comedic doesn't. in that than Brooks is in Dead and Loving It. Yeah, he sort of is. Um, I, I like, I, I think it's not an overblown mess. I can see why some people say it is. I actually think it, it's my favorite Dracula film. Like I said, I don't think it's an overblown thing. I think this is a little underrated, too. I think it gets way too mm -hmm. much hate. Um, It's just gorgeous to look at, and I think... One of the reasons why it gets so much hate is because it has Keanu Reeves, and I don't understand why, because he's not bad. Okay, he's, he's not bad. It just kind of talks like a surfer dude in yeah, some scenes. Like, and that's it's Victorian England, and you know. Yeah, like that's what kills that movie for me is any scene with fucking Jonathan, and he's goddamn talking like he does in like Point Break, like hey, bro, like we need to like toot stop Dracula before we because he's being a major major prude, man. He Chaw. doesn't talk like, like that. He doesn't do people that make far, it but, out like he. Be he, it's, you gotta admit, he is a very weird choice to play ho uh, Jonathan. I think it works. I do, and I don't think Winona Ryder's bad See, either. Winona Ryder's the one I have a lot of issues with. I th he thinks she's kind of sleepwalking through a lot of the movie. I don't think she's bad, and I think Gary, and, he, and even if Oldman she's Oldman is the standout performance of the movie. Like, he's probably one of the better Draculas. It's really good. I like it. And then the wolf, do you want to just talk about the wolf? Oh, yeah. Bl bl on the positive size, it has wolf fuck and baby eating on the negative size it has the what two minute scene talking about syphilis that goes nowhere it does have baby eating and wolf fucking though so that's pretty cool do you hate it i don't hate the movie i like it's a per it's a, another one of those movies where it's a mixed bag for me it has a lot of elements i like in it but there's a lot of parts of that movie that just kind of drag it down for me i it's uh, 
B plus for me? It's an A plus and I don't think it's an overblown Hollywood garbage. I actually, it's my favorite Dracula movie. And I, yeah, if we're talking just straight, it, how does it adapt a book? Pretty decently. Like, it's very faithful to the book. Faithful. It's pretty faithful. very, very faithful to the book. Again, it's one of the only of ones touches. to actually had had Quincy in, which is weird. Yeah, it, and it's and I know Francis Ford Coppola has some duds in his resume, all directors do. <laughs> Jack. But I actually like it. Like I said, this is a movie that's, it's one of those weird movies that it's grown on me. The older I get, the more it grows on me. So, yeah, I dug it. Um, I guess that was the last question for the, the tag. For thank the you tag. so much, Monty, for tagging us. And thank you, Sean, for coming up. This was a fun tag. Um, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I, please don't disown me because I really love, you know, Bram Stoker's Dracula. I'm just curious how much shit I'm going to get for saying I actually like Dracula 2000. Well, you know, to each their own, but thank you guys. Thank, thanks, Monty, for tagging us. Thanks, Sean, for making it. I guess this is where we tag a few people. Pretty much everyone in the community's already been tagged because we're late to this. I guess. If you haven't been tagged, you've been tagged, or if you want to do it, just just do it. Just do it because everybody I can think of, I think, has already been tagged. So, yeah. So, just if you want to done did the Dracula, if you want to sink your teeth into the Dracula tag, the ultimate Dracula tag, go ahead and sink your teeth in and say we sent you there. And um, I get, as always, I, um, as always, Booze and Goals, we hope you've enjoyed this uh, this tag. And if you have and you haven't hit that subscriber button, please hit that subscriber button because we appreciate every subscriber we get. And with that, we wish you a good day, a good evening, and we'll talk to you guys real soon. Bye, guys. Ooh, fluffy cape.